Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So ignore any traffic sound you hear, but I want to share with you exactly what I spent during Freshers Week so that when you go into Freshers, you can sort of compare how much you might end up spending or if you are, like if you've been through Freshers, then you can sort of compare or go and work out how much you did actually spend. So starting off with Monday, I spent £7.50 in Primark, £7.48 in B&M, £10.60 in Asda, £2.80 on a bus, £1 on a bus, £2.40 in Tesco, and in total I spent £31.78. pence. So that is a considerable, considerable amount. However, Primark, one-off expense. B&M, one-off expense. I think you can class as two buses as one-off expenses. Granted, they might happen on the odd occasion. And then the £2.40 in Tesco isn't a regular expense. And as it was literally just buying some food items and just the odd item that had been missed. Then, Tuesday, I spent £3 on entry into a nightclub. And if you've watched my story time, then you'll know that that's from having to go to a new nightclub after being scammed during freshers, but go check out that video if you haven't already. I then, whilst I was out, bought a single pink gin and lemonade, which was five pounds and five pence. And so in total on that day, I spent eight pounds and five pence. So this day was a bit better because obviously I didn't spend anything during the day it was only when it came to night that I actually spent something. Then on Wednesday, I spent one pound on a co-op dividend just because I wanted the co-op membership so that I can get some like offers kind of thing. Cause as a uni student, you want it all, like you want as many offers as you can to make things cheaper. And I then spent 12 pounds 84 in Tesco that was on some frozen bits because when we did my original food shop we hadn't bought any frozen food like we'd bought some chicken breasts and we'd bought some mints but they both went like they didn't have to go in the freezer but because i wasn't using them they went in the freezer and so like on my first day that was the only thing that went in the freezer so i'd bought so when i did this shop i had bought some ready meals just because at the time it was sort of like easier just because it was fresh as week and also i bought some like chips some chicken dippers kind of thing so i bought the essential frozen stuff basically then on thursday i purchased a fresher ticket now i never actually ended up using this fresher ticket just because i was ill on the friday like i was booking for friday but i was ill on friday so i never actually went to it but i never sort of reclaimed a refund because it was like three pounds and i know as a uni student you should try and claim back whatever the hell you can but three pounds i wasn't bothered and i was ill so hey ho i also spent one pounds fifty in tesco and i bought some chocolate and then when i went out that night because i already had a fresher event before that night basically when i went out i spent four pounds ninety five on a drink and so in total i spent nine pounds and 45 pence that day then friday i spent nothing because i was lying in bed all day like i was poorly like fresh of flu like it was a cold but like it was a bad cold like it was the worst kind of cold that i've ever had kind of thing and honestly it was not pleasant at all then on saturday I had my Amazon Prime subscription come out, so I spent £3.99 that day. And then on Sunday, I spent £2 in the co-op on apple juice. And then I did make an in-app purchase on the Disney Magic Kingdoms game. But so in total for Sunday, I spent £6.49 pence and so in total for fresher week i spent 73 pounds and 60 pence now i'd like to just add that i did spend a little bit more than this just because it after 
filming this i remembered that i did spend three pounds on friday because but because it was a cash purchase i'd completely forgotten about it but that three pounds was to my friend because when she went out she did buy me some cough medicine which was very which i was very grateful for so i did spend 76 pounds and 60 pence rather than 73 pounds and 60 pence so yeah obviously the three pounds extremely essential it's just that i did that so going back over this whole thing there is a lot where it's not regular expenses like they're not going to be regular expenses so like i said primark b&m because at b&m i bought some like food storage containers you know like the airtight seal like you know if you watch those like pantry organizations you have them in that and i bought two so that was that influenced that i haven't have have i had the have i taken the bus since then like i've taken the bus on the odd occasion but i've typically walked so is it's not a frequent thing asda i haven't been back to asda since some of it was food there was the odd bit that was like sandwich bags and also i bought some like toilet cleaner i bought the harpic did i buy harpic i can't remember it was something along those lines and yeah i also don't go out i Clubbing often, like in the past week, I haven't been to a club. I went to Weatherspoons, but I haven't been to a club. I do need to factor that into my spending because I am tracking like each week. So club entries aren't like a regular thing, so therefore the ping gyms aren't a regular thing. Granted, I did spend thirteen pounds on Amazon and twelve pounds on Etsy the other day, so. Mm, I need to get that in order. Obviously, the one pound co-op dividend is only a pound, but also it was a one-off spend. The Tesco with the frozen food, I've still got some of that frozen food, so I'm good. Again, the Thursday, the fresher ticket. I'm not going to be buying freshers tickets anymore. Like I've got one planned night out, and that's it, and that's in like a week's time kind of thing um the chocolate one pound fifty yeah i spend like it the chocolate's not a regular purchase but obviously you buy the odd item that you fancy and obviously again that drink that i bought on my night out on thursday amazon prime it's only a once a month thing and even though i do make the odd in that purchase it's not like a weekly thing because what i mean by that is on the week after freshers week i spent 36 pounds and 84 the odd the odd one of those purchases was one-off purchases as well but it's obviously a whole lot better and that's sort of what i mean by i made a fair few like one-off purchases like last week even though i haven't worked out the full expense was more expensive because i put credit onto washing and also i ordered a hoodie for like a uni hoodie granted the washing money and the money for the hoodie had been transferred to me from my nana so technically it wasn't an expense i made in the sense of it didn't come out of my like maintenance kind of stuff but it was still obviously expense that i made but yeah that's what i spent during freshers so 73 pounds and 60 pence let me know what you spent during freshers if you are aware of how much you spent and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to watch another one of my videos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys